Hi, I'm Generic Western Genius, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on another portal switch. This one is from my video on 7 things you can build from Minecraft, there'll be a link to that in the description. So what a portal switch is simply, you can click the lever, the portal turns off, and when you click the lever again, the portal turns on again. It's quite simple. And what is the actual purpose of it, you may ask? Well, it is partially for aesthetics, but it also has practical purposes for a hidden base, because the sound gets turned off when you, um, break the portal, I mean, it's going to be much harder for anyone who's trying to find your base to be able to hear the portal and then use that to locate your base. Now let's take a look at what items we will need to make this portal switch. You will need 10 obsidian for the portal, or an additional 4 if you choose to do the corners of the portal with obsidian. Then you will need about a stack of building blocks, and you'll need two dispensers, with one dispenser having a water bucket and the other having a flint to steel inside of it. Then you'll need to make a choice. You can either use a piston and a block with gravity, such as sand, concrete powder, gravel, and or you can choose to use a sticky piston and any block that can be pushed and retracted by a sticky piston. Your choice. You'll then need six redstone dust, two repeaters, a redstone torch, and a lever. Okay, so now to actually build it, you'll need the portal frame, which is three blocks tall and two blocks wide. Then the first thing we're going to do is place a block like this, right there, and then place a dispenser, and we're going to place a block here, and a dispenser, and then we'll continue just filling in this whole area. Then what we'll do is place the flint of steel on the bottom left dispenser and the water on the top right. Then what we're going to do is place a lever on the second block, so the, the middle block height-wise, like so. And then we're going to place two blocks underneath it, like so. A redstone torch like this, and a redstone going in like that, which will ignite the portal. Because it is going into that block. Then what we'll do is we'll place redstone from here. And now you have to make the choice between a sticky piston and a normal block, and a piston and a block with gravity. And you'll place the piston and then the block like so. And I'll place another block like this, which will have a repeater set to one tick delay. Then we'll place a block like so, a block like so, a block here, and two blocks here. Off of this block, into the, the dispenser, we'll have a repeater set to two, to two ticks delay, and we'll have some redstone dust going like this. Now when you flick the lever again, it should break the portal, and when you flick the lever on, it ignites the portal again. But that's pretty much it for this video. I've been Generic Press and Genius, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.